if you're planning to use LinkedIn in your job search, it's critical that you avoid these common profile mistakes that I see so many lawyers making. Make sure you stay tuned for all five of the mistakes I'll be covering so you can have an edge over your competition. Welcome back to the JD Nation channel. And if you're new here, I'm Annie Little, ICF certified career coach and former lawyer. I created this channel for lawyers who want to go beyond generic career advice to get insight and practical guidance for all things related to their career and job search. So here's a big one, not having a profile photo. In a prior video, I discussed the importance of having a high quality headshot for your profile photo. So many people assume it's better to have no profile photo than a less stellar one, but I would argue that it's not. Put something in there and allow it to be motivation for you to get a better shot ASAP. Because when recruiters or potential employers go to your LinkedIn profile and don't see a photo, they get the impression, whether warranted or not, that you're not taking your job search seriously. And that's not the kind of first impression you want to make. Second mistake I see is people including the hashtag OTO or OTW in their profile headline. Those stand for open to opportunities or open to work. And similar to the hashtag open to work profile photo border that I cover in another video, using these hashtags gives the impression that you're desperate. Personally, I don't think that that's fair to job searchers. If you're on LinkedIn, why make it a secret that you're actually looking for a job? For some people, they are secretly looking. If you're not, why not let that be a leg up? I don't know, but it's not. At any rate, you can still alert recruiters and potential employers that you're open to opportunities by selecting that option in your profile settings. So go in there and you want to make sure that you're selecting the one that lets only recruiters know, not everyone on LinkedIn. So when you select that option, recruiters, hiring managers, anybody using that version of LinkedIn where they're looking for candidates, they'll see you raising your hand to be considered and all the Judgy McJudgersons on LinkedIn will be none the wiser. Now, number three is a big one for me. And this is when I see people who have a generic headline on their profile. And I've got two really big reasons why you need to optimize your headline. So first of all, if you just use associate at ABC law firm, nobody knows what you do or what you want to do. They know you're a lawyer. That's it. And at best, they'd have to scroll down to your experience section. At worst, they'd have to Google your law firm's website to see what it is exactly that you do. And spoiler, recruiters aren't going to do that. And the second reason why I think this is so important is that the LinkedIn search function that is used by recruiters and employers prioritizes the words that you use in your headline. In other words, put the words that are most related to the job you want in your headline. You might have heard these referred to as keywords in like the technical search engine optimization jargon. That's what they are, keywords. So how do you find these keywords? One of the best ways to figure out which types of words might be keywords that are tied to the jobs that you want is to find a job description or multiple job descriptions that describe your ideal job and see what kind of words they use to describe the position you want. Things like what kind of title, uh, so like deputy general counsel or general counsel or partner, senior associate, whatever it is, whenever you see it popping up multiple times, you know, okay, this is a word that should be in my headline. Other things might be the area of law, the types of work that you want to be doing. Check out the job descriptions. You'll see what I mean. Fourth mistake I see lawyers making on their LinkedIn profiles is pretty much copying and pasting their resume and putting it in their about section. And I can see why it's tempting because the about section sucks. It's just, you know, this blank canvas and you're like, how do I start from scratch? Why don't I just put my resume in here? But here's the thing. Recruiters and employers are looking at your about section to learn something new about you that isn't on your resume. Because the work experience section of your profile already acts as a mini resume of sorts. And also here's an important side. Your resume doesn't belong anywhere on LinkedIn because you need to tailor your resume to every job you apply to. Yes, every job. So you need to think about the about section as your opportunity to go beyond the bullets of your resume to share your personal professional brand, your narrative, what makes you uniquely situated for the type of job that you want to have. And by doing that, you're going to set yourself apart from other lawyers as 
being the ideal candidate for your target position. So think about it like a cover letter. letter. The fifth mistake to avoid is leaving gaps in your work experience section on your LinkedIn profile. One of the bummers of working in the legal profession is that employers want to see what you've done every second since you graduated from law school. And you probably already know to include all the dates of employment on your resume. But the same goes for LinkedIn in that work experience section. Also, here's like a mini related mistake I see. If you worked prior to going to law school, definitely include that experience. Additional real world experience can really set you apart from other candidates, especially if the work that you did prior to law school is relevant to the industry you work in now or the type of stuff that you do now. So Go check out your profile, see if you're making any of these mistakes, change anything that you might be messing up right now. But if you're like, yeah, I can deal with those mistakes, I can I can handle that, but I'm still having trouble with my job search. Let me guess, you don't think you have transferable skills or you don't know how to articulate your transferable skills. Don't worry. I have a free guide that you can download. It's in the description below called How to Transfer Your Lawyer Skills to Other Jobs. Go download that guy if you need it. And let me know in the comments which mistake or mistakes you didn't realize you were making on your LinkedIn profile. I promise you will not be alone.